Hello fellow Attack on Titan fans out there. Today I have an unboxing and review of the Scout Regiment face mask. This one is completely polyester so it should be a lot more breathable and it also comes with two filters. Taking a look closer at the mask, it's basically a single rectangular shaped mask but sewn in such a way that it kind of better tapers at the end toward the edges of your face. Um, and you can see the Scout Regiment logo, those wings of freedom right there printed nice big in center. It is completely flat however, there's no embossing even though I would have liked for it to be a little bit more 3D but that's okay. Even so, the logo is still clearly visible even from afar. This mask also has a few personalizable features for a better fit, including this wire piece uh, at the nose to conform to your nose bridge, as well as each of the ear loops have an adjustable slider to tighten or loosen depending on the size of your face. I found this mask to be really easy to put on as well as take off or adjust as needed if I needed to briefly take it off to say eat or drink. Unlike other cloth masks which are usually made out of cotton, this one is made out of polyester so it's much more breathable, it's lightweight, and it feels much more cool to the touch so it doesn't feel like you're suffocating in this mask. Even with a filter inserted, it's still very breathable, which you can insert between the two layers here in the mask as demonstrated right here. It's very simple to do, it doesn't really matter because it's pretty much symmetrical so you can just slide it in either side without worrying about if it's upside down or reverse side. The filter definitely gives the mask a little bit more shape otherwise the polyester material um, allows the mask to be extremely flexible without much of a structure except for this wire nose piece at the top. It's a very thin um, wire, it kind of reminds me of like bread bag twist ties. So it also isn't snugly in place, you can see I can easily shift it around which is one of the downsides I found with this particular mask. I also found that this particular mask runs pretty large compared to other traditionally sized adult large masks like the one I have next to it right here. As a result, the fit isn't as snug and there's definitely a lot of leftover towards the chin area that it leaves air gaps which is not desirable at all. Because this Attack on Titan mask is again once a rectangular piece of cloth but sewn in a way that it will taper at the ends unlike the Terrapin Strong mask that I have next to it where it is already pre-cut and sewn in such a way that it would already taper at the ends and then also it has a reinforced seam on the bottom so that there's less likely to have that air gap. So I think that this mask is definitely a little bit on the cheap side in terms of design. Well, one can only hope that somebody else will come up with an Attack on Titan mask that's a little bit better design. But for the time being, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have here. But I'll still keep my eyes peeled if there's something better comes out. Well, thank you for watching this video.